Even if you are a humanities student or a commerce student, you will need to take a maths exam if you are appearing for mixed scholarship exam. In today's video, we are going to cover Mathematics A exam, which is specifically meant for students who are aiming to take either social sciences subjects or business subjects in Japan. So um, let's get started. I'm Deepthi Singh, your admissions counselor for Japanese universities. So in today's video, this is uh, for those students uh, who are going to study humanities and you assume that you know in humanities you don't need mathematics but if you are going to study in Japan, uh, there are subjects where you will need uh, mathematics especially in business also you know so they, they can be uh, some business courses uh, where you will be required to do uh, some business calculations and it is expected that you have uh, you know some familiar level of mathematics so let's break down the mathematics a examination uh, what are these topics that you can prepare so the structure is one is algebra so these are the key topics algebra so you will need to study equations inequality and problem solving techniques second is probability and statistics data interpretation probability calculations um, third is number theory so you will have to uh, you know study properties of number integer based problems uh, and uh, geometry and vectors now you know you will see that most of these topics we also spoke about these topics in mathematics b paper uh, but the level of difficulty of these questions will vary greatly uh, depending on whether you are taking mathematics a or mathematics b uh, so i'm uh, you know difficulty level is uh, much lower than mathematics b paper but uh, you will have to cover at least the topics that we are mentioning here um, if you are from CBSE or ICSE, uh, you will find these problems uh, rather easy. Uh, but the problem lies in your time management skills and also the you know common errors like uh, making silly mistakes during calculations, etc. So to avoid those, learn time management by solving previous question papers and uh, you know always timing when you are attempting mock question papers, always time yourself. So best books uh, that are recommended uh, to clear this exam, uh, one is your NCERT book of course uh, for concepts that is best. Um, you can refer to some online resources like Khan Academy or uh, MIT uh, courseware where you have plenty of material and it is free to access. So uh, if you are planning to appear for this exam, there is a study plan for about 5 weeks and you must dedicate this for your uh, studies for mathematics specifically uh, so here is the plan so for week one and two you can focus on algebra and inequalities week three you can dedicate to probability and statistics week four you keep it for number theory and geometry and in final week you must revise and take as many mock tests as possible uh, we will uh, be providing you mixed examination papers, maths A examination papers also. So comment below if you really need those. We will be very happy to send it to you. And uh, if you think this content is helpful, uh, please subscribe the channel and like the video. And I wish everybody a very good luck and all the best for exams. And uh, if you are planning to take mixed exam, uh, Trust me, consistency is the key. So you can't uh, study only at the last moment. Uh, if you're aiming for mixed scholarship, it is planned ahead of time, as I always say. Thank you for watching.